Thank you. It is wonderful to be here this morning in this community that has so profoundly embraced the goal of bridging the opportunity gap for so many vulnerable children and families. And the Parent-Child Home Program is one way you have and can continue to do that. The Parent-Child Home Program is about ensuring that every child has an equal chance to be successful in school by ensuring that every child has a chance to walk through that classroom door on the first day of school prepared to be in that classroom. Equally important, it is about making sure that every parent has access to the knowledge, materials, and skills they need to give their child the gift of being ready for school. The mission of the Parent-Child Home Program, my mission, the mission that United Way of King County has so boldly and effectively adopted for this community, is to ensure that parents who grew up in homes with no books, who may not have completed high school themselves, who work multiple jobs to put food on the table and have nothing left over, that these parents are able to prepare their children for a great future. We are all here today because four years ago, the United Way and all of you accepted the challenge to mind the gap, to work with parents to ensure that their children are able to bridge the gap and enter school ready to learn. When it committed to expand the vibrant, successful Parent-Child Home Program pilot that John Stanton and others at the Business Partnership for Early Learning had launched in 2005, United Way took on an ambitious task of taking PCHP to scale in a large, diverse county with national visibility. And it's succeeding. And in the process has become a national leader that other cities and counties now aspire to follow. Brad has laid out for you why the program is so important here in King County. So now I'd like to give you a brief explanation of what the program does and why it works. PCHP is a very simple but unique model. It is the only national home visiting program focused specifically on working with parent and child together to increase parent-child verbal interaction and ensure that children enter school ready to be successful students. Families participate in 92 home visits over a two-year period. The home visitor meets with the parent and the child when the child is two and three years old for a half hour twice a week. The home visitor brings a gift of a book or an educational toy, modeling reading, play, conversation, art, and music activities that build children's language, early literacy, early numeracy, and social emotional skills. The program, as you can tell from this description, works with families when children are a certain age for a very specific time and in a very particular way. None of this is arbitrary. All of it is backed by extensive research. The program works with families when their children are two and three because that is the time when language is blossoming or when it should be. Parents get an immediate return on the investment when they increase the quantity and quality of verbal interaction, reading, and talking in their home. At this age, parent-child interaction leads to language development and a whole new world of the wonder of parent-child communication. Children's vocabularies grow they memorize the rhymes in books like Five Little Monkeys, and they light up when their parents take out a book to read to them. All of these behaviors encourage parents to talk, read, and play more with their children. For so many parents, the fact that a two or a three-year-old, their two or three-year-old, could be so smart and so verbal is a revelation. Parents feel proud, competent, and valuable, often for the first time as a parent. A new vision of the future begins to develop in the home, high school graduation, college, a successful future. So the program goes into homes twice a week over a two-year period for that half hour each time. Why? Dr. Phyllis Levenstein, who is the founder of the program, developed the model in 1965 and tested a wide variety of variations before she settled on this particular model. Home visitors went in once a week. They went in for only a year. They went in for longer visits. They went in for shorter visits. They didn't bring any books and toys. They brought books and toys, but didn't show the parents how to use them with their children. And my favorite, they brought the books and toys to demonstrate 
and then took them away from the two-year-olds at the end of the visit. <laughs> the design that all of this research led her to is very much the one that we utilize in the Parent-Child Home Program today. The twice-weekly visits enable the parent and the home visitor to build a strong, trusting relationship. There is very little that will happen in the lives of these families that their home visitor won't know about. And this leads to a robust retention of families over the two years of the program. 95% of the families complete the program here in King County. The frequency also means that change starts to happen quickly. Parents see that and they're inspired by it to continue and expand the work they're doing with their children. And why a half hour? Well, a half hour is the attention span, more or less, of a two or three year old. But more importantly, it emphasizes for parents how much they can teach their children, even if they're only able to read with them for a brief amount of time every day. It is long enough to model a whole lot of interaction for families, but short enough not to be stressful for parents who have many demands on their time and often have very little control over their own schedules. Most importantly, Parent-Child Home Program is a program that works for families who, for a number of reasons, are among the most vulnerable in our communities. PCHP engages, in fact, embraces families, reaching them where they live, in the language they speak, and when they are available. It comes to them in their homes. It does not require parents to own a car, to take a bus, or speak or read in public. It follows families when they move. It provides a home visitor who speaks their language, comes from their country or community, who provides regular, personalized, one-on-one -on -one visits. And it provides non-judgmental coaching to parents who may never have experienced the joy of reading aloud to a child, or been shown the value of playing with blocks or drawing a picture. It puts quality books and educational toys in the hands of children who otherwise would not see these materials until they enter a classroom. As you've probably figured out by now, Parent-Child Home Program really works as much, if not more, with the parent as with the child. It is the parents' actions that will change their children's future, and it is the parents who will discover over the course of the two years of the program that they are not only their child's first and most important teacher, they are their child's academic advocate, their cheerleader over the rest of their child's academic career long after that home visitor has left the home. The program has a powerful impact on the trajectory of families. Parents bring what they learn in the program to older children and younger children in the home, and often to themselves as well. We know that this unique model works because we have over four decades of research demonstrating it. This evidence has been built longitudinally, beginning with what happens during the two years of the program, continuing through school and on to high school graduation, documenting children's success in comparison to their peers every step of the way. We've replicated the program in urban, rural, and suburban communities with consistent results. And here are some of them. Children who have completed the Parent-Child Home Program tested 10 points ahead of non-program peers at the beginning and at the end of kindergarten on a nationally standardized measure. Everyone gained 10 points during the kindergarten year, but the Parent-Child Home Program participants stayed 10 points ahead. They had flipped the gap. And what about the long term? Well, to find out, let's zoom forward and find, and find out what happens to these children years after they've completed the program. In another study, low-income children who completed the Parent-Child Home Program went on to graduate from high school at the rates of middle-class children nationally. That's 30 percentage points higher than their socioeconomic peers in their community. We continue to research Parent-Child Home Program's effects we're always interested in whether the program is working as we expand to new populations and into new communities and in how to make it stronger. Here in King County, the children who go through the program will be part of another longitudinal study. United Way is driving that with its partners, including the Seattle School District. What's true now, here in King County and elsewhere in the country, including New York City, 
is that the program is now serving a much more linguistically and culturally diverse population than it did when it was developed. So in a new study conducted in New York City by New York University, we found some wonderful, striking, and affirming results. Parent-Child Home Program is successfully preparing children for school even when families participate in the program entirely in their native language. Putting this another way, what matters is that parent-child home program children are learning to learn. That is what will change their future. Now these results are not abstract. They have very tangible impacts for all of us. An independent study conducted by the City of New York show that the reduced need for special education services for parent-child home program graduates saves $210,000 per child. It's a big deal. <laughs> the same report estimates that participation in the parent-child home program could increase a participant's lifetime earnings potential by between $600,000 and $1 million. The government cost savings and the benefits of creating higher earning, tax paying citizens are obviously compelling reasons to support the program. If we do not provide families the simple supports they need to start their children on the road to school and life success, we've failed these children and we have failed ourselves. Every child deserves to enter school on their first day full of hope and ambition and feeling like a success. They deserve to walk into their classroom knowing what a book is and how to hold it, knowing the letters of the alphabet and how to count to 10, knowing how to behave in a classroom, and knowing that they are gonna be able to graduate from high school. We must reach children before they enter school, bridging the achievement gap before it becomes a chasm. We have no excuse for not doing it, because we know exactly how to do it. We know that if we want children to be able to speak, read, write, and do math when they enter school, then they need to hear language, use language, be read to, use crayons, do puzzles, and play matching games in their homes with their parents before they enter school.